Hi, I'm Pastor Dwayne Bosch, president of Higher Things, and I'm here to talk to you a bit about this summer's conference theme for you. It's been 15 years since this was last our conference theme, but it's always been an emphasis in everything that we do at our Higher Things conferences because everything that Jesus does and everything that Jesus did is indeed for you. So our conference hymn this year reflects that. We'll sing it twice at both of our divine services, and I want you to think about the ways that you can hear and sing this hymn and what it says to you about Jesus. As you sing, think about the kind of love that our Lord and our God has for you. Think about the different ways you can sing a hymn. And not just sing it corporately, but also pray it individually. Because you can sing a hymn corporately as the gathered together people of God. You can pray it individually as in your daily prayers. And you can also hear it proclaimed to you almost like a sermon. And each one of these ways will be able to speak right into your ears the kind of love that God in Christ has for you. And so our theme hymn, O love how deep, how broad, how high, beyond all thought and fantasy, that God, the Son of God, should take our mortal form for mortal's sake, that the love that our God has for us is so incomprehensibly huge that we can't even begin to measure it. And then we sing as the people of God gathered together in verse 3, for us baptized, for us he bore his holy fast and hungered sore, for us temptation sharp he knew, for us the tempter overthrew. This is what he has done for us. God's people gathered together, Jesus for us. But you can also change that around a little bit, and you can pray this individually. And so in verse 5, for instance, you could pray, for me by wickedness betrayed, for me in crown of thorns arrayed, he bore the shameful cross and death, for me he gave his dying breath. And it gives you that reminder that this is indeed for you, which sort of leads us into the proclamation aspect of this hymn. Uh, In verse 6, for instance, for you he rose from death again, for you he went on high to reign, for you he sent his spirit here to guide, to strengthen, and to cheer. And all of those reasons and all of those ways to hear these words we can summarize and give thanks and glory to God and say, all glory to our Lord and God for love so deep, so high, so broad, the Trinity whom we adore forever and forevermore. And that's the point of the hymns that we sing. They reinforce in our minds what Jesus has done for you. It's sweet, sweet gospel that comforts you. It reminds you that no matter how life treats you in this sinful, broken and dying world, Jesus, crucified, risen, and reigning, does everything that he does for you. I can't wait to sing with y'all this summer. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.